What's up guys? Joe from Joe's Old Garage. Merry Christmas to everyone. It is a balmy 70 degrees here in Georgia. At least 70. Could be warmer. <laughs> I am uh, doing a little dog sitting today until it is my turn to go uh, to the fam's house to do Christmas. Um, and I wanted to do an update on an old friend here. I've only done one or two videos, I think, on this old truck. But, uh, do me a favor. You guys like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, I was just watching Randy from Auto Auction Rebuilds. And, um, do me a favor. If you don't want to watch the whole video, let it play. Just sit your phone down or leave your computer on and just let it play. I could use the watch hours. I really could. That could be a good Christmas present to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I've never begged for much, but I'll beg for that. <laughs> so like, comment, and do subscribe. I want to try and get to 10,000 subscribers this next year. Um and so anyway on with the video let's get a little update on this uh this was my grandfather's 1992 ford f-150 xlt better known to our family as the gray beard <laughs> the gray beard oh yeah she's patinaed out nice and patinaed out uh, this truck has been handed around a little bit. Um, I've mentioned a, a little bit of it in previous videos, but I'll go ahead and... Ooh, we got a nasty dent in the roof. To try and pop that back out. Uh, but I'll revisit the uh, story a little bit. Graybeard... Uh, let's see. Graybeard came along around the year right at the turn of the century, 2000, uh, when my father ventured out into the business he's in now, uh, where I currently work, uh, this, they were very small, just getting started, tight budget. This was my dad's first work truck. <laughs> now, it was only eight years old at the time, uh, and it had mileage. It seemed like the mileage was just under a hundred or so. Um, but, um, this was his work truck until they could get going and get off their feet. Um, and then as, uh, the company grew and business got better, uh, my dad ended up getting a manure forward. Uh, a brand new Ford in 2005, the white Ford F-150 that you see on my channel. And uh, he gifted this truck to my grandfather. Okay? Still got the original selling dealer. Adairsville, Georgia. That dealership is no longer in business. But, um, yeah, he um, gifted this to my grandfather. And my grandfather had it from about 2005 up until his death in 2014. Um, it sat around for about a year at my grandmother's house um, before she decided to part ways with it. And at the time, believe it or not, None of my aunts or uncles or anybody like that, or my dad even, uh, wanted it. Um, not sure why. Maybe it was just a grieving thing. I don't know. Sentimental? I, I mean, you'd think if it was sentimental, one of them would want it, but I don't know. Maybe it was just too soon. But my brother and I decided we wanted it. So we ha uh, threw a thousand bucks in a piece and gave my grandmother two grand for it. Um, and we had it for about, gosh, I don't know, year and a half, maybe two. And then we um, didn't, we weren't really using it um, at all. 
and it was staying at my brother's place more than anywhere. So um, we told the family, reached back out to the family and said, hey, we don't need gray beard. We're thinking about getting rid of gray beard. Does anybody want him? And then my uncle in Birmingham, Alabama reached out and said, I want him. So my uncle bought him, gosh, let's say this is about 2017, 18 at this point. And he took Greybeard in and got Greybeard some new headlights. Uh, did a little bit of uh, update, uh, a little bit of just updated maintenance, transmission service, fluid changes. Um, he uh, put a couple of new tires, I think, on the front. Uh, he fixed the window regulator. You know, these, these Fords are terrible. If they have power windows, they chew up the gears. Um, I think it needs to be done again, actually. Um, you know, and he did some things to it. Got it um, fancied up a little bit more and caught up on maintenance. And then he decided he wanted a new Ford truck. So back in 2020, he reached out and said, hey, I'm selling gray beard. Does anyone want it? Well, then my aunt here in Dalton decided she wanted it. And she's the sentimental one in our family. And I'm really surprised she didn't buy it the first go around, but she did this time. And she has had him about a year and uh, she has done some things. Uh, let's pop the hood. Uh, the main thing that Greybeard needed was it needed HVAC. The uh, climate control, uh, AC, all that had um was all original believe it or not okay i'm gonna have to hunt for the hood release here let me pause okay sorry about that god i couldn't get the hood open um so we received a new compressor uh belt what's that your dryer hoses look at these hoses nice new hoses uh, receiver, I mean, you know, everything, climate control related, it was all replaced. Don't know if you can see the condenser. Oh, well. Um, got an interstate battery in April of 20. Uh, so the uh, climate control has been revived and it works good. It's nice and cold. Good stuff. Oh, let's do a cold start. As you can tell, this thing's been sitting. She doesn't drive it a whole, whole lot. Um, she's retired, and she does a lot of antiquing and estate sales. So she mainly just uses it for that sort of thing. But uh, this is XLT trim, power windows, power locks, cruise control, uh, let's say tilt wheel, you know. Pretty loaded up for 1992, I would say. Oh, are you kidding me? Graybeard currently has 167,984. So almost 168,000 miles. I mean, it's a great running old truck. I remember my grandfather did some exhaust work to it. I can't remember exactly what he did. But it has always sounded nice and mean <laughs> since he did that. Five liter 302 engine, man, runs great runs great my dad tells me that this is a crate motor replaced uh shortly after he got the truck back in around 2000 2001 but i'm they had a couple of these trucks though uh that were gray that were just alike and i think he's talking about one of the other trucks but there's a possibility this truck has had a new engine i i, I just can't remember that information very well um of course the doors are hard as hell to close very typical on these old trucks 
Okay. Let's get my fat seat belt on for my fat ass. <laughs> All right. Couldn't get the damn seat belt on. Getting too old, too fat, too everything. Let's take her for a little drive. Let's see, get that emergency brake off. Uh oh. How do we release the brake? Come on, there it is. All right. I do know for certain that this transmission has been rebuilt. That may be where my dad's confusion lies because I've always known the transmission was rebuilt in this truck at some point. Uh, and I remember my grandfather talking extensively about it. So I'm thinking the crate motor must have been one of the other old gray beard trucks he had at the time. But who knows? I'll shut up. Oh. It has been a long time since I've driven this truck. <laughs> Golly, what a great old ride. Oh wow, we've got a new house going in, Lord. They haven't built anything up in this neighborhood 30 years. Oh, and it looks like they're building the house burned. I'll be darned, it sure did. I don't know if you can see through the trees, but they're totally having to rebuild that end down there. That house burned. I had no idea that house caught on fire and burned. I'm sure my aunt would have told me that that's exactly what the heck happened there. Yeah, burned out. Huh, we'll be better than new real soon let's get her out here where I used to do my old 0 to 60s back in the old days I'm up in Dalton today so not in my normal neck of the woods here nothing like a good running old truck I mean, a good running, well-maintained, I mean, I know the paint shot and she's kind of ugly, but I mean, it's just patinaed. That is, that is the exact term for it. Oh man. What a great old truck. Stop right up here. Man, been a while since I've done a zero to 60 here. Uh-oh, wanting to die on me. I was hoping to get a little wheel spin, but I got a sputter instead. Blow the soot out. There we go. We'll take it easy on the old girl. So anyway, um, that's that's a little good little update video on uh, the 92 Ford F-150 XLT. Been handed around the family quite a bit. Um, and it will probably stay within the family for many, many, many years to come. Uh, I don't see anyone uh, ever... Uh, not volunteering to take the truck if the current owner wants to sell aka my aunt <laughs> but knowing her sentimental uh self she will probably never be wanting to sell the truck 
her dad was the most important thing to her in the world other than her children and um, her parents in general. So I imagine she'll keep Greybeard a long time. And man, he runs good. Shoot ya. I hope y'all have a wonderful Christmas. I hope the weather's just right for wherever you live. If you like snow on Christmas, I hope you're getting lots. If you prefer warm weather, I hope it's lovely out. It's nice here, even though it's cloudy. I mean, it looks like a winter day, but I mean, it's like 70 degrees. It is so weird. But hey, that's typical Georgia for you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, like I said, do me a favor. Play the whole video, even if you don't feel like sitting here listening to my ass the whole time. Just let the baby play. Give me some watch hours. Y'all have a great day. And again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Season Greetings, whatever you celebrate. Just have a good one and, and, and hope you have a great day with family and friends. Peace.